Hey Crossroads, Pastor Joey here. I want to take a minute to check in uh, now that we're at the end of our second week of this crazy ride that we're on and talk to you a little bit about the order that the governor gave us for stay at home that begins tonight. I was thinking about what that's going to mean and maybe for some of us it doesn't mean anything all that different um, but maybe for some of us it really does and I know I've been talking to many of you lately and a lot of you are feeling stressed and frustrated uh, some of you admittedly are kind of happy you introverts out there uh, excited that there's a little extra distance between you and the rest of the world and that's great and I'm thankful for that uh, but because there's so many different things we're feeling and because we have these extra limitations going on right now I thought it might be helpful and one way I could help in this process is if we just took some time every day uh, to spend in God's Word so we can stay connected to God and connected to each other because that's one of the big things we want to focus on during this time as a church to remain connected to each other to come alongside and also to be connected to God and so I thought it'd be good if we did just a psalm a day for the next two weeks uh, during the stay-at-home order and just commit to opening God's Word and starting every day fresh with God and the reason I pick Psalms is because in Psalms what we see is that people are bringing their thoughts and feelings and emotions to God as they interact with all different challenges and situations and circumstances in their world and that's very similar to what we're feeling right now so many of you are feeling different things and going through different experiences this isn't all the same for each of us but God's Word does speak to all of us in all the different situations that we might be in. So I thought it'd be helpful if we took some time to open up Psalms together and look at God's Word. So I'm committing to you a Psalm a day, a really brief video. It'll show up in your inbox every morning for the next two weeks. If you want to start this way, um, great. If not, that's okay. But I just want to give you this opportunity to journey together with each other and by starting our day off in Psalms, in God's Word, being rooted in Him, which brings us to our first Psalm, which is Psalm 1. I thought it'd be a helpful place to start. So every morning, I'm just gonna read through a section of a Psalm and then have one kind of question or takeaway point for us, and then we're just gonna pray together. Um, and I'll have one prayer point for you as well. So you can take some time to read through God's Word after watching the video, consider the question, and also take some time to pray just to get your day started with a few minutes uh, with God. So let's take a look right now at Psalm 1. It says, Blessed is the one who does not walk in step with the wicked, or stand in the way that sinners take, or sit in the company of mockers, but whose delight is in the law of the Lord, and who meditates on his law day and night. That person is like a tree planted by streams of water, which yields its fruit in season, and whose leaf does not wither. Whatever they do prospers. Not so the wicked, they are like chaff that the wind blows away. Therefore the wicked will not stand in judgment, nor the sinners in the assembly of the righteous. For the Lord watches over the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked leads to destruction. All right, as I read through this today with you, the one question that comes to mind for me is, amidst everything that's going on in our life right now, how are we being nourished? How are we being nourished? Verse 2 says, But whose delight is in the law of the Lord and who meditates on his law day and night. A person whose delight is in God and in his word. Verse 3 says, That person is like a tree planted by streams of water, which yields its fruit in season, and whose leaf does not wither. Whatever they do prospers. So I want to ask you today, how are you being nourished? There's so many different ways and places that we can go to for nourishment and you know we're talking right here about nourishment for the soul of course we have food um, that we can eat and and stay nourished that way but how is our soul being nourished um, maybe it's by what we watch maybe it's by what we read so some of that can be uh, online with Netflix that's or movies that's a lot of the way that we're getting our entertainment right now for some of us some of us it's reading or watching the news um, some of us, it's friends and family that we can connect to on our phones or in our house. There's a lot of different ways that we can get nourishment for our soul right now. Um, but I just want to ask, are you going to God? Are you going to his word for any of that time of nourishment? Because what his word reminds us of right here is that we need to be rooted in him. And when we plant ourselves in God's word and in God himself, we 
will be planted as if it was a tree by streams of water which yields its fruit in season and does not wither. Whatever they do prospers. Those are encouraging words for us as we consider how we're being nourished right now. And I just want to remind you that it takes intentionality to be rooted in God and to find our nourishment in Him. So my prayer point for you today, the thing I encourage you to pray about, is pray to God and ask Him if He can nourish you. Seek nourishment from Him as you go about your week, as you go about your weekend, as you're finishing your day, as you're dealing with uh, kids that are having a hard time doing school at home or just being confined uh, to the walls at home, as you're dealing with some of the economic stress and strife that I'm sure is impacting and I know is impacting many of you in our community and in our church right now. Find your nourishment in God because we need it now more than ever. So let's pray together. Father, thank you for your word. Thank you for your truth. I pray that we would plant ourselves in you. Lord, that you would nourish us, that you would fill us, that we would find peace and comfort and joy and assurance in whatever it is we need when we come to you, God. Lord, lead us to yourself. Lead us to your truth. Help us to feel your presence in our lives right now. Help us to be nourished first and foremost by you above all else. Lord, thank you for your grace and your goodness and your love in our lives. Help us to trust you in this time. In your name, amen. I encourage you now to take some time uh, to read through this passage on your own, to consider how you're being nourished, and to spend some time in prayer uh, with God, asking him to come alongside and nourish you. We'll do this every day for the next two weeks. This will show up in your inbox uh, early in the morning, so whatever time you get up, it'll be there waiting for you. Uh, I hope you have a great Friday and I look forward to checking in with you and sharing the Psalms with you every day. And don't forget to leave your recommendations um, for whatever Psalm you'd want us to go through in the comments below. Have a good day.